Working conditions for Latina women are not easy in Jersey. That's according to the co-author of a new report that ranks Jersey one of the worst states in the country for Latina women's wages. So it takes an additional 10 months for a Latina worker to earn what a white non-Latino worker earned uh, last year. Yana Rogers is the faculty director of the Rutgers Center for Women and Work and co-author of the report on Latina Equal Pay Day. She says while American women earn 83 cents for every dollar a white man earns, it's even worse for Latinas in Jersey. According to the report, Latina workers earned 57 cents for every dollar that a white non-Latino earned, and in New Jersey, it's even worse. It's 46 cents on the dollar. New Jersey Latinas are about 11 cents less than the national average. Rogers says Latina women also pay the motherhood penalty. She says this happens when women, including Latinas, accept lower paying jobs or leave the workforce to care for their children. The occupational distribution that Latina workers cluster in occupations that are very low paying, especially uh, child care workers, uh, secretaries, food service workers are big ones. Um, there's also a motherhood penalty um, where they earn even less than women without children and some discrimination. We have multi-generational families. So we have our children and then we have our parents and we are often are responsible for both generations. And that creates a um, long-term impact on your uh, wealth and your ability to uh, um, you know, have wealth in your, uh, towards your older age or build wealth towards your, your children in the next generation. And work in restaurants and laundromats in laundry. They were all closed for three months. So we were giving, we were providing them food. We were providing them rental assistance. The report is sparking awareness about the issue and helping nonprofits like the Community Affairs and Resource Center in Asbury Park, where Beatrice Osterheld is the executive director. Of the 5,000 Latino women that the center serves at four different locations, Osterheld says 60% of them experience domestic abuse, in turn causing them to lose their jobs. Let's face it, if you don't have financial support, how can you leave the abuser? That's the biggest problem that we have. So we need to help them to be able to be self-sufficient so that they can support their family and leave the abuser and make it decent living because you cannot, if you go and make $10 an hour, how can you support two or three kids? Domestic abuse survivors Jasmine Cardona and Juana Urbina say the center was a lifeline for them when they lost all hope. It's very difficult for Latina women out here, but this center has helped me when I felt alone. I don't feel alone anymore. With getting my certificate here, I am able to work three days a week for 12 hours each, and I make more money and have more time to spend with my kids. The Latino Action Network Foundation is taking a proactive role, working towards narrowing the pay gap by providing job training and employment to Latinas. We, out of this study, will have a lot of research studies don't aren't fully inclusive. So we're working at this as a grassroots level, at a community-based level, to get information and data on the ways that we can improve these women's lives so that they are fully integrated in society. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Raven Santana.